Welcome to Secret Machinery Channel. This is a special video about the world's largest suspension and cable stayed bridges. How are giant offshore oil platforms with large reserves installed? Let's explore with me. First is Osmangazi Bridge Construction. Osmangazi Bridge, also known as Izmir Bay Bridge, is a suspension bridge located in Turkey. It crosses the Sea of Marmara and connects Hasik, Altnover, Yelover, and Delove Sea, Kosaili. It has a total length of 2,682 meters, a height of 234.43 meters above sea level, and a main span of 1,550 meters. This bridge has six lanes and each side has three lanes. Osmangazi Bridge has a steel structure and is used as a highway. It is part of the 409 km long 05 highway connecting Istanbul and Izmir. This Osmangazi Bridge is named after Osman I, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. It was built to cut travel time between Istanbul and the western provinces of Turkey, so the time will be reduced from 10 hours to about 4 hours. This also means that transportation to Sebihar Gokhan International Airport will only take about one hour. Later, construction costs were put at about $1.3 billion. As for the design, it was decided to design to suit the local landscape and seascape, so the bridge has mixed components in terms of color and architecture. The bridge was built in one of the most earthquake-prone areas in the world, which posed daunting requirements for its design. Then, on the safety side, to make the bridge earthquake resistant, the steel piers were built on a concrete foundation, based on a large layer of gravel and allowing the piers to slide in the event of a large earthquake. The bridge started construction in March 2013. After three years of construction, in June 2016, the bridge was open to traffic. It was inaugurated by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Prime Minister Bainali YLDRM. When completed, it became the fourth longest bridge in the world, the second longest in Europe, and the sixth longest suspension bridge in the world by its main span height. So what is a suspension bridge? Let's find out together. A suspension bridge is a type of bridge in which the deck is hung below suspension cables on vertical suspenders. The suspension cables must be anchored at each end of the bridge. Since any load applied to the bridge is transformed into a tension in these main cables. The main cables continue beyond the pillars to deck level supports, and further continue to connections with anchors in the ground. The roadway is supported by vertical suspender cables or rods, called hangers. In some circumstances, the towers may sit on a bluff or canyon edge where the road may proceed directly to the main span. Otherwise the bridge will usually have two smaller spans, running between either pair of pillars and the highway, which may be supported by suspender cables or their own trusswork. In the latter case, there will be very little arc in the outboard main cables. The advantages of suspension bridge. Longer main spans are achievable than with any other type of bridge. Less material may be required than other bridge types, even at spans they can achieve, leading to a reduced construction cost. Except for installation of the initial temporary cables. Little or no access from below is required during construction and so a waterway can remain open while the bridge is built above. They may be better able to withstand earthquake movements than heavier and more rigid bridges. Bridge decks can have deck sections replaced in order to widen traffic lanes for larger vehicles or add additional width for separated cycling forward slash pedestrian paths. The disadvantages of suspension bridge. Considerable stiffness or aerodynamic profiling may be required to prevent the bridge deck vibrating under high winds. The relatively low deck stiffness compared to other non-suspension types of bridges makes it more difficult to carry heavy rail traffic in which high concentrated live loads occur. Some access below may be required during construction to lift the initial cables or to lift deck units. That access can often be avoided in cable state bridge construction. Next is Sheet Piling UK at Great Yarmouth Harbour. Sheet Piling UK Limited were employed by principal contractor Van Ord ACZ to design the temporary works and install the acelemetal sheet piles to form the permanent sheet pile cellular cofferdams. 
The sheet pile cofferdams were fabricated on the quayside with the sheet piles being installed around a purpose-designed fabricated steel frame. This was designed to resist both wind and wave forces, and also to act as a lifting frame for final positioning of the cofferdam, weighing some 400 metric tons. During fabrication and interlocking of sheet piles on the quayside, the frame alone was capable of resisting wind loads. However, when placed on the prepared level seabed, it was calculated that eight no 660 mm tubular piles, driven some 5.0 m into the seabed would be needed to resist the predicted wave and swell forces. And to keep the structure stable whilst the sheet piles were driven and sufficient permanent granular cell fill material could be placed. Continued is Goliath FPSO arrival Norway. The Goliath platform has arrived in Hammerfest, Norway, after a 63-day journey from South Korea covering 15,608 nautical miles. The Goliath FPSO is the world's largest and most advanced cylindrical oil production platform. It is specially designed and constructed to adapt to the long winter nights and icing hazards typical of the Barents Sea. The platform is fully winterized and designed to withstand 100-year Barents Sea storm conditions. It was designed by the Norwegian company Seven Marine, and at a production capacity of 100,000 barrels of oil per day and a storage capacity of 1 million barrels. The platform weighs 64,000 tons dead weight and is 107 meters in diameter and 170 meters high, including its flare tower. The height from its base to the heli deck is 75 meters. Next is offshore platform installation, jacket installation and topside installation. Oceanic 5000 is a DP2 derrick lay vessel which can install offshore structures including jackets and topsides weighing up to 4400 tons. The state-of-the-art Oceanic 5000 can also lay subsea pipelines utilizing her two double-joint stations resulting in considerable increase in lay rates. What you are seeing is the installation of the 2,000-ton jacket by launching method and the 1,500-ton topside deck by lifting method. The entire pipe lay assembly process is carried out below the main working deck. This allows maximum pipe storage above deck and more free deck space for structural installation thereby providing a safer and more productive working condition. Finally, bridge to Rusky Island in Vladivostok. The Rusky Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge in Vladivostok, Primorsky Krai, Russia. The bridge connects the Rusky Island and the Miravio Fomersky Peninsular sections of the city across the eastern Bosphorus Strait. And with a central span of 1,104 meters it is the longest cable-stayed bridge in the world. It was completed in July 2012 and on 3 September 2012, the bridge was officially given its name. Now let's take a closer look at this Rusky cable-stayed bridge. About Pylons Construction. The piles were driven as deep as 77 meters below ground and on the island side 120 auger piles were piled under each of the two 320 meters high bridge towers. The pylons were concreted using custom self-climbing forms in pores of 4.5 meters. A crane was used on the first three pores, afterwards the formwork was completed unaided moving through the hydraulic motion of modular elements. The pylons are A-shaped, therefore, the use of standard forms was not feasible. An individual set of forms was arranged for each bridge tower. Transition between section types was carried out at summer levels at the elevations of 66.26 meters and 191.48 meters. The use of self-climbing forms made it possible to achieve better quality and decrease the time of construction of cast in situ reinforced concrete structures by half as much again. The cable stays anchorage zone starts at 197.5 meters. The installation of cable stay pairs and casting of bridge tower bodies was carried out simultaneously, dramatically reducing the construction period. About central span structure. The span structure has an aerodynamic cross-section to assume swarthy wind loads. 
The shape of the span cross-section has been determined based on aerodynamic design and optimized according to the results of experimental processing of the scale model in the detailed design phase. Welded field connections are used for longitudinal and transversal joints of the capped sheet of the orthotropic deck and lower ribbed plate. For joints of vertical walls of the blocks, longitudinal ribs, transversal beams and diaphragms, field connections are used provided by means of high-strength bolts. Large-sized prefabricated sections for the installation of the central span were delivered by barges to the erection site and hoisted by a crane to a 76 meters height. Here, the elements were abutted and cable stays attached to them. About Cable Stayed System A cable stayed system assumes all static and dynamic loads on which the very existence of the bridge depends. Cable stays are not designed to endure the entire lifetime of the bridge. But they are repairable and have the best possible protection from natural disasters and other adverse impacts. Parallel strand stay PSS cable stays consist of parallel strands of 15.7 mm diameter, every strand consists of 7 galvanized wires. Cable stays incorporate from 13 to 79 strands. The length of the shortest cable stay is 135.771 meters, the longest is 579.83 meters. The protective housings of the cable stays are made from high-density polyethylene HDPE and have the following features, UV resistance. Resistance to local climate conditions of Vladivostok temperature range from 40 to plus 40 degrees Celsius and environmental aggressiveness.